Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Speech off. Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to do a video demonstrating to you all how to use the remote add-on with NVDA. You know, so <clears throat> you can use it to control another computer as long as that other computer is turned on so obviously it could be in a different room or you could be there so for those of you who don't know nvda is a free and open source screen reader for windows and it stands for non-visual desktop access uh yeah i'd recommend that because George is just ridiculously expensive and it crashes a lot of the time. But anyway, I'd recommend NVDA. So, first of all, I'm going to boot Tulip. For those of you who don't know, Tulip is my older laptop. Um... She helps, she's helped me a lot, you know, and she helps me cope a lot. So, first we're going to switch her on. Now, I don't know how much battery is left. Or if I need to charge her. So, we're waiting for her to boot now. I've got Windows 10, as you m may have guessed. For this add-on, I recommend, obviously, the latest version because the newer versions since 2019.3 of NVDA use Python 3, so some of the older add-ons won't work, but a lot of the add-ons have been updated. If you're not sure how to... Hang on, you'll hear when Tulip's loaded... NVDA, you'll hear three beeps, and that's to say I've set it up. I'll explain in a minute what I've done. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. I think she's doing updates. That's NVDA now, hang on. So what I like about on Tulip is she's actually got the volume dial. Uh, you'll hear this beep in a minute. Yep. Uh, oh, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Just restart this. Right, you'll hear the beep now when sh when NVDA starts. Loading NVDA, please wait. Desktop list, recycle bit, but selected one of 40. Right, so what I've done as I've installed the add-on on tu Tulip and Naruko, so I'm going to show you. If you don't know how to add add-ons, you can go to... Uh, so I press NVDA modifier key, which I've set to caps lock. So caps lock and N, and listen. If you're wondering what that buzzing noise is, it's the cooler. Right, let me just press down arrow. Preferences are menu key. Tools are menu key. We want to go to tools and then we go right arrow. View not key. Check for add-on updates. Remote sub menu key. Remote blue chips are run com registered. Relate portable com manage add-ons. Right. If you want to add this, you go to manage add-ons and then you go to look for add-ons, I think it was called, yeah. And then search for it there and then you <coughs> install it and then you go to 
it's already set up on Tulip, so I'm going to show you, sort of. Remote submenu, right arrow. Connect unavailable C. Obviously, because I'm already connected to the. Set control puzzle plus no unavailable options. O. Copy link L. Push clipboard D. Mute remote unavailable air disconnect D. Connect unavailable C. Well, let's connect for. Notification from Dropbox. Dropbox use disconnect D. Disconnect for now. New notification right. window. New notification from Dropbox. Dropbox you change 12 months. Right, and then we're going to options. References tool sub menu D. View logic for add remote sub menu E. Hang on. 86% disconnect. C. Right. Set control plus alt plus disconnect. C. Go to connect. Client radio button check. Right, now. If you, what you want is obviously you want client if you know if you have your own server you can connect to your own server but I don't know about that so you want to go to client and then we have that but then the first thing you want to do so say like I'm going to set tulip as the computer to be controlled, so we go down arrow until you hear. Allow this machine to be controlled. Radio button. Check. Allow this machine to be controlled. Tab. Post edit alt plus H blank. Now the default um thing. What is it? <coughs> the default host is unless you've got your own networks and stuff, which I don't know how to do. It's MV Why? NVDA remote.com Now you can generate a key or you can set your own key. Speech mode off. I'm going to set my own, but of course I'm gonna turn my speech off so you can't hear it. Speech mode beams. Oops. And then we go to generate key button or plus OK button. OK. Desktop list recycle big button. And then connected to control zone. She'll do that. And then to say connected to control server. Then we load the RUCO. Well Haruko <laughs> I've told you about Tulip and Haruko before, so and while we're waiting, please check out my videos, my other videos. I upload a monthly series of dream talks. Uh, <coughs> funny dream talks from the app I use, right? NVDA is loaded. Right. It's not set on Haruko at the moment. If you're wondering why I'm using that voice, that eloquence voice is because I may have mentioned before if you um I may mention before that my laptop I had when I was at school Violet uh I mentioned quite a bit about her like she helped me get through school and that um yeah I had jaws on Violet and at the time I hated that voice, but now I've actually downloaded this voice and installed it to NVDA because it reminds me of Violet. I mean, I've got much better quality voices, but even though I've got better quality voices, I'd rather stick to this one. So, on... We're on the Ruko now. Right. Right. So we do the same. Caps lock in. Right, we go to connect. Of we keep client. And obviously, because we're on a recom now and we've set it on Tulip to allow this machine to be controlled. We stick with control another machine. MVDA remote.com. And obviously, 
the one that's set on tulip I need to top the same key in and they should both be oh whoops hang on a minute why is Haruko doing this not automatically connecting again why Right, shut up. Right. Try again. <sighs> yep. MVP in remote. Oh shit, I'm gone. Right. Sometimes NVDA will say star, but it doesn't on this, so I have to turn the speed off. Yeah. Okay, right. You would have heard them both now. Julia Panaruko and that's not very nice shut up right so to control on on tulip right we're on the Ruko so we press one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and you hear right right See, as I'm doing this on Aruko, it's doing it on Tulip. But it's quite annoying how it's speaking on both, which obviously wouldn't matter if Tulip was in another room. So now we can do whatever. Whatever we want, obviously, on Tulip. So... Let's go for a few more settings. MVDA menu. Preferences are menu P. Tools are menu P. Right, let me try and... Speech mode off. Oh, that didn't work. Speech mode beeps. I tried speech to turn the speech off and tune it for me. Oh, shit. Help I'm sorry. Sorry. Tools are few not beeps. Check for add a hundred votes are menu E. Connect. Unavailable C. Set control puzzle plus no unavailable S. Options. O. Copy Mikhail. Push clip on P. New new votes unavailable M. And that didn't work. I thought I was supposed to be able to write. So I can actually even from here like shut tulip down. Which I'm gonna do now, but the trouble is See if I go to shut down now, it won't shut Haruko down, it shut tulip down. Yeah, right, and Haruka's still on, but I can't, I've heard about something called WLAN, you no, know, Wake on LAN or whatever I mean, so, um, where you can turn the computer on remotely, but it seemed really complicated. The only thing with it is, obviously, you have to have both laptops turned on, to be able to control and obviously now tulips off yeah we need to um press f11 right because obviously it's not going to work because of tulip off Anna. so yeah i hope this helps uh one thing I meant to add was sometimes when you install this add-on you have to allow it through the firewall because I had a problem on Haruko before 
but then Windows got messed up with updates and that, so I had to re Windows reinstall. But I was being blocked from being able to use that. It was just coming out of it, like not let me go in because you have to make sure. Oh, what's that? I think it was port six seven three eight or six four three eight. You have to make sure that that one is allowing. You know, like you have to allow. Oh, shut up! Right. Yeah, you have to make sure that that is allowing connections, otherwise it won't work. But obviously, when you're doing stuff like that, make sure you're careful as well. Some antiviruses as well like to be stupid and completely block that. So, yeah, it's fairly easy to use and there's uh, obviously some settings on there which... For really advanced users, they can set their own networks and IPs and stuff. Because if you go to server, obviously you have to put in your own IP and all that. So, yeah, I hope this helps. And please check out the rest of my channel, my playlists, which have been updated since I did my video about Tulip songs and my video about Aruko songs. It's been updated a little bit, right, and I'm getting quite annoyed because this battery is getting shit on the Ruko as well. Well, apparently, even though I got her in 2015, which isn't even that long ago really, there's no original batteries for her anymore and I'm a bit wary. Because I want to tell you all something that happened a while ago. 2013, 14, I went to get a new battery for Tulip. And, uh, bear in mind, this was a link, which uh, it obviously looked convincing because someone who knows about computers... <laughs> found this link for this exact model the battery came and I put the battery in and it just would not work at all right so if I, if I took the plug out she just shut off and I couldn't work out why and I had a boyfriend at the time and he reset the BIOS which didn't fix the problem but it messed Tulip up a little bit. Luckily he found out what had done something to do with like not seeing the hard drive or something because she kept doing the blue screen and that. So but anyway, I downloaded this program which I recommend the same company part is it Piriform or Pyreform or something who makes the cleaner. They also do a program called Spexy and it tells you everything like all the hardware details and everything on your computer now the actual program like the interface isn't very accessible but I found that if you right click on the keyboard I think it was or press the menu key and you go to save to text file and then you re open up the text file, you can read it that way. Well, I found out that this battery, when it tells you the where, it was basically saying zero volts. So I thought, well, that's why. But the point is that it could have gone the other way and it could have blown up. And ever since that, you know, that was a... <coughs> That was a near miss with Tulip and ever since that I, I really struggled to trust like getting stuff offline like that. I don't think I can. Talking of trust, I've just completely something else. Nah, but that's fun with the video about...
I've not long came out of a relationship. Well, it wasn't really a relationship. It was like one week. But the person I was with was like, well, I wouldn't say with, but sort of. She was basically a complete liar about everything. And do you know the worst thing? I'm not even going to rant about it because this isn't what the video is about. Is someone I'm at at the hospital on the dialysis unit. She she was lying, saying she had a month to live, which I only found out by asking the doctor if that was true. Because obviously they can't tell me all details, but I just asked if that particular thing was true. And it wasn't. Like, how can some sick, I'm sorry, bastard lie about that? And she was a lot older than she said she was. But that's for another day. Anyway, please subscribe, like and comment. And, <coughs> yeah. Switch on. Camera chooser. Camera chooser. Stop recording. 